Hi, I'm Jason Domino. I'm a sex worker and I work in the porn industry. Because porn and sex work are topics that people can feel passionately about, sometimes you can get some passionate messages that come in. I've even had some death threats. Because of this, I've had to take security quite seriously. So I've divided my personal life and my professional life into two separate presences online. This may be different for you, but for me, my professional life is somewhere that uses my face, uses my body quite out there. My personal accounts are ones where I actually use quite anonymous accounts and it's only a way that people who really know me can keep in touch with me and see what's going on with me personally. There's quite a wide range of risks that happen to anyone who's online and they can range from things like posting an Instagram story of where you are right now and someone bothering you because they know where you are all the way to someone potentially doxing you, which is putting your personal information online. Mm -hmm. There are ways that you can prevent against these harms, but it takes a little bit of thinking beforehand of what you would do if those situations were to occur. Sometimes anonymity, or the idea of using an alias, can be presented as a dirty topic. Something that people use in order to be trolling or abusive to people online. However, there is other sides of anonymity. One of those big sides is personal safety. I'm not sure I could be online at all if I didn't have ways that I could use an alias to protect my personal life. In fact, even if I'm giving my personal information to companies and platforms, I'm kind of prepared in case that information gets leaked or hacked or something along those lines down the line. So it really is taking that responsibility into my own hands and being prepared that it isn't always the safest place. Sometimes the platforms that you use and the security on those platforms might be more than just your online browsing or your social media accounts. For me, it's quite important that I'm aware of what information is getting to someone if I'm using my banking app. If I'm asking them to send me money, is that where they're going to learn what my legal identity is? Are there ways that I can use a business account or use platforms where I can maintain that boundary of anonymity? by using those platforms instead. Whatever platforms you're using, be aware of what the terms and conditions are. As a sex worker, there's many platforms that don't allow me on there. I can often have my accounts frozen or removed with very little notice. So I often use burner accounts where I'm aware I may lose it suddenly and I'm having to transfer it to main accounts that I really use. But in the long term, it can be really helpful to be involved with collective organizing, perhaps your union, to have those discussions with those platforms and see if you can get those terms and conditions changed to represent your rights and needs.